Hello, I'm Phil Dobby. Welcome to Unplugged. With me is Deepak Nangia, who is the Australia and New Zealand manager for Satyam. Uh, welcome to the program. Thank you, Phil. Now, part of your uh, company motto is business transformation together. Now, a lot of consultancy firms talk about partnerships. Uh, what makes your approach to partnerships different to other uh, consultancies? Yeah. Well, Phil, um, a little bit of a background to the organization. Uh, this motto, business transformation, full stop, together, has right. come about fairly recently to Satyam. Our previous uh, motto or logo uh, stated what business demands. I think over the years, uh, Satyam has progressed as an organization while providing IT services to our customers to a stage where we understand the business of <coughs> our clients better than what we did a decade ago. Right. Mm -hmm. So what's what's changed? So what's what's changed now mm. when we move from what business demands to business transformation together is helping our customers focus on their business objectives and goals while we look after or help them use technology mm -hmm. in order to enable their business to transform in this new digital age. Right. Okay, and so finding the, the people to help manage that transformation is, is the type of person you've, you've had to recruit changed over the years to adapt to this technology? It has. If you look at the organization, uh, the kind of people and the workforce that we have now, one is much larger than what it was hmm. uh, a decade ago. Uh, just to give you some numbers, uh, the organization is growing at about 35 to 40 percent year on year for the last decade. And since our business is all about people, it means that we're adding about 35 to 40 percent more people every year. Right. If you add on to that about a 12 to 13 percent attrition, 50 percent of our workforce effectively morphs and changes every year. So that's a challenge in its own. Mm. While we're catering to that challenge, we've also got to look at how the economic scenario and the context of the customers is changing and how their businesses are changing as they move forward. Right. So keeping all of that in mind, our recruitment that happens <coughs> for this 15 to 1600 uh, consultants that we recruit uh, every month mm -hmm. is obviously a big challenge. Both the profile of the people that we're bringing on as we work in 65 countries, the ability of this workforce mm -hmm. to be one mobile yeah. Mm -hmm. Number two, to be able to understand the cultures of each of our clients who are spread around these 65 countries. Sure. And also to be able to cater and understand to the business environment that our customers are working in, in order to help them deal with their business um, objectives better. So I can imagine trying to adapt to, to different not only different country cultures, but different company cultures mm -hmm. uh, is, is a big challenge because every new job, you've got to try and adapt to the way that customer uh, and that company thinks. Absolutely, and that has been such a huge challenge over the years. Mm. So one of the things that we've done as an organization, Phil, is to set up a Satyam Learning Center. We did this a few years ago, realizing the fact that the world is changing so quickly and being mm. in the industry of uh, information technology, mm -hmm, we have to not only keep learning and keep training our own staff, but also at the same time stay on the same page as our customers. Right. So we've set up a learning organization headed by a gentleman who used to head up uh, Booz Allen Hamilton's uh, global training uh, organization. And this organization, basically the Satyam Learning Center, then creates, amongst other things, cultural programs which are held jointly for our customers and our own staff. So then we imbibe a joint culture when we're engaging together. So these programs are attended by both our clients as well as our own employees so that they can start to appreciate Mm -hmm. the backgrounds where the organizations and the people are coming from, okay, and then create their own little culture 
Now, your, uh, your global website talks about creating uncommon ideas. Mm -hmm. I guess it's, it's this new culture, this new working culture, where mm -hmm. a lot of these uncommon ideas come from. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious, where do they really come from? <laughs> See, the, uh, we have uh, a very strong philosophy which says, and a belief, uh, that all innovation and all new ideas have to come from across every single individual in the organization. Mm -hmm. Henceforth, there is no R&D department. Right. There is no innovation lab. Mm -hmm. Every individual within the organization, and there's about 55,000 of us, mm -hmm. add on to that, our clients' teams who work closely with us, mm -hmm. so we're talking about close to about 80,000 people yeah. working together to generate ideas. Now, you, the sort of person you're looking for is quite particular then. You're looking for someone who's quite multi-skilled, but is also an IT professional. Yeah. Are there enough of those people? I mean, it must, must have been hard finding them. I mean, if the company is going to continue yeah. to grow, how are you going to keep on finding them? Well, Phil, interestingly, we don't, we don't find them. Mm. Uh, we nurture them. Right. You're right. It is very difficult to find them. If we do interviews, you can have two interviews, three interviews. Unless you really work with the person, mm -hmm. you will not really know what the person is capable of. Mm. A lot of the times, interviews people are trying to impress, and often they try and be something that they may not be naturally. So what we do is we create an environment which will help individuals to move into their own uh, performance area. Mm -hmm. So it does not mean that we will, which is why I said, it does not mean that the person has to work in the same area that they've been selected for. If we find later that their skills are in another area, we move them off to another area, we give them their space to perform at what they're naturally best at. And then through the Satyam Learning Center, provide enough inputs, training, nurturing programs for them mm -hmm. so that they can then start to uh, Foster and, and grow. In their so you are you you're seeing payback um, from that from that approach in terms of the longevity mm. of uh, tenure with your uh, with your workforce. Oh, absolutely. Mm. It it definitely does does help. Mm -hmm. One because we've often seen that even people who have moved out, there's so many times they've come back to me and said, Deepak, you know what? I'm not really enjoying it. I've moved out, but I've got so used to the culture, the flexibility. Uh, the space that we had to perform what we wanted to do within Satyam, okay, that is just not the same anymore in the other organizations. So there's a lot of people who come back, mm -hmm, not necessarily for the package of the money, but just for the environment, mm. so that they're, they're back home having a good, successful day at work right. and a happy day at work. Okay, a satisfying and rewarding day oh, at work. Absolutely. Well, it sounds, I mean, it sounds like a lot of common sense, yeah. but it also sounds pretty mm -hmm. uncommon. So I can see yeah. this, this whole idea of un, un, uncommon thinking yep. uh, really applies to, to your <coughs> recruitment mm -hmm. and, uh, and the way sure. you nurture your employees. Deepak, thanks very much for your time. No worries, Phil.